Raise Days, episode 155. This is a weekly diary podcast hosted by me, Ray Taylor. But I want to talk about, as I do at the end of every episode of Raise Days, talk about something that I am thankful for. And this is similar in some ways to last week, but this is definitely different. And this week, I am thankful for people who purchase artwork made by a human. Not just people that purchase artwork from me, people who go to these events, who purchase, whether it's artwork or crafts, macrame, crochet, shirts, uh, paintings, whatever it is, purchasing things that were actually made by a person. Because there is a lot of competition out there for artists, right? There is and has been for a long time these mass-produced products, these decorative products that people can buy at like Bed Bath & Beyond or Target, right? There's the, the wood that has that right has in cursive live, laugh, love. Like there's all these kind of like things that are made to look like they're handmade goods, but they're just mass-produced things where they're, get, they're getting from Walmart, Target, Ikea, whatever it is versus buying something that a human actually made, right? Art made by hand, right? The original NFT. And not that I have necessarily anything against digital artists. And not that I even have anything against people who create art through AI. I think it's art. I think all that stuff's art. I even think the decorative mass-produced stuff that you buy at these big box stores is art. I don't think it's as valuable. I don't think it's as good in a way as something that is handmade. It doesn't have the heart. It doesn't It doesn't have the same um, life to it that something that is 100% original and handmade does because there's an imperfection that comes from something that is handmade. There is a raw and a real nature that mass-produced items try to emulate you know the the imperfections to make it seem like it's except for each imperfection is the exact same on everything so right i so i know that there are people out there that appreciate and go out of their way to support people that make stuff and those are the people that i love because it's easy to it's way easier and probably way more affordable to decorate your home with mass produced stuff that you buy on Amazon or whatever. But the people that take the time to go to these types of shows, these events, these art fairs, whatever it is, go th even through Etsy. You can buy mass produced stuff through Etsy. You can dig and find artists. I've never had success on Etsy. I don't I, I think it's a pretty broken system as far as artists trying to sell original work at least in my experience but you know you can still in theory buy original work through sites like that you can go to websites artists websites follow artists on instagram or any of the social media and hopefully i would imagine most of them have a type of way you can purchase their work from them whether they have a website or whether you know they have a paypal or a venmo where you can work it out through their dms but like those people are the reason why artists exist and survive. And that's what I'm trying to do as an artist, trying to survive by people who are willing to spend their money on things that I make by hand. And I try to do the things I make in a way that gets me to stand out from other people and from the AI stuff. And, the you know, like you can buy it like AI makes gorgeous masterpieces but you can't watch the ai create that masterpiece you can't even watch most artists that make art make their paintings make their work a lot more do nowadays but that's one thing that i take pride in and i've been doing for thousands of paintings is recording the making of to where if you buy a painting from me aside from a select few times where I forgot to hit record. But now I record from multiple angles. So if you buy a painting from me, not only are you getting an original piece of artwork that is made by hand, but you can actually watch that piece of artwork be made by hand 
from three different camera angles. <laughs> uh, you can well, one of the angles is watching me actually paint. You can watch the weird things my face does when I paint, but that's like a big aspect of why I record that like you can actually see this painting become a thing and you can see the process that I do it and I talked about last week that I don't know what the painting is going to look like it is as much a surprise to me as it is to anybody watching the video what it ends up being so you know I appreciate the people that actually spend money and to buy art and I love it uh, and I appreciate it and I'm thankful for those people not only for the people that buy artwork for me but people that buy art from artists because those people are very special and they're doing good things and they're keeping artists alive and they're investing in this thing that is one of the oldest types of products made is art and trying to make sure that that stays that form that is made by hand that is original pieces that is is like when you look closely you see all the imperfections but you know that all of those things come from a very real place so i'm thankful for all those people and i appreciate their imperfections and i'm glad that they appreciate my imperfections new episodes of the ray taylor show come out every single day subscribe on youtube and everywhere our podcasts are found binge the full week over at inspireddisorder.com slash plus buy ray taylor show merch over at inspireddisorder.com have a wonderful day everybody peace out today is the day where you wake up and you realize that everything that you've been dreaming about everything that you've been wanting every goal and wish and hope that you've ever had can become real Dreams can come true. What you manifest in your mind, you can bring to reality.